Hi, welcome to the Real Estate Roundtable, where we discuss all topics real estate. I'm Nick Aarons. Hey, and I'm Steve Crowley. I'm Darren Shepard. And I'm Jimmy Reed, and we're your hosts. Well, welcome to the Real Estate Roundtable, where we speak uh, on everything real estate. And I'm Steve Crowley, your host. And I am being joined here with Sarika. And uh, hi, Sarika. Hi, Steve. And uh, so we are going to be talking a little bit about um, about you as one of our newest team members and here at the Reed Team. Um, so uh, tell me a little bit, uh, why real estate for you? Um, I actually knew that I was going to be in real estate from a really young age, probably 20. Um, I was in the service industry before that, and I really like people, love working with people. And uh, I didn't get started till I was about 27 because I looked like a baby. I didn't think anyone would take me serious at 20 years old. So I waited a little while. I, I got my license when I was 27. And then, uh, yeah, I've been in the industry now for going on 14 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you said that you've been in the service industry. So tell me a little bit about that. Oh, just um, waitressing, bartending, you know, okay. it's a, you know, putting myself through school. It's a, it's a fun way to do it and flexible. So yeah, that's how I learned to work well with people and read people and know what they want. <laughs> <laughs> that comes in handy in real estate. Yeah, it does. That's <laughs> for sure. So uh, why the read team? You know, I, I knew Nick and I knew of Jimmy and Darren. They're all very impressive uh, agents with great reputations. And uh, a friend of mine introduced me and we had lunch and just all the things that they were saying. I'm like, wow, these guys really know what they're doing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> maybe I should be on this team. And so we, we talked for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I, I just decided to uh, make the take the plunge and move, yeah. to, move to this great team. Wow. Well, we are very grateful that you have, too. Oh, so thank we you. love having you here. Thank you. You've been a, just a beautiful part of the team and uh, definitely a great, great uh, asset. Thank you. So uh, just in re retrospect, uh, kind of looking from the outside in now, um, what do you think was your biggest like misconception about real estate? Oh, because, well, everyone thinks it's easy. I don't I, I didn't really think it was easy. I didn't probably didn't realize the amount of paperwork that we do. <laughs> That's my, my least favorite part. Um, you know, I love uh, homes and the design and the architecture and the decorating and all those things. But the, the on the back end, there's a lot more paperwork than people realize. Yeah. So I did yeah. not know about that. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, I agree. Yeah, for sure. Um, that was probably actually one of my, uh, my biggest misconceptions. So yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. A binder full of disclosure. So <laughs> it will take you two days to read. So. I know another side of it too, that I, I know was, uh, something that was a surprise to me is just, um, you know, that every time you finish helping somebody, you're unemployed officially. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Like, okay, and the next. Yeah. So that's, you know, you can't take your foot off the gas too long. Otherwise, you won't have anything to work on. So <laughs> you have, have to manage keeping multiple balls in the air at the same time and servicing multiple clients. Otherwise, yeah. um, otherwise you won't have much to do. So. Sounds like a juggler. It is. It's <laughs> definitely a juggling job. That's for sure. A juggling career. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what are a couple of the most impactful things that you've uh, learned since you've been on the team? Do you think there's been there's been a lot? Um, you know how how we you know do open houses, strategies we use for open houses, strategies we use for uh, making our offers more competitive. Um, definitely got more offers accepted, and, and since joining the team, just learning a little tricks of the trade. And, um, and just being part of a good team uh, that does a lot of volume and learning from everyone else is, is yeah. been really, really instrumental in helping me close more deals. So you feel like there's a lot of support when it comes to the... Yeah, absolutely. We have an incredible team. So we have marketing, we have our um, uh, office manager, we have you know, great t a great TC and escrow in-house. So we have all the all the pieces uh, to mm -hmm. make a great team. And then Nick and Darren, along with Jimmy, are, are great mentors and, and coaches as well. Very cool. Yeah, I, um, I'm just thinking myself too. I mean, uh, you know, I've 
I've been a solo agent before. How about you? Have you? Yeah, I was a solo agent actually before I moved to California. I was on a team for my first year in real estate. Mm -hmm. We sold 86 homes and that was that between two of us. And that <laughs> I learned everything I needed to learn in that year. And then I went out on my own and we sold, you know, 20, 20 plus homes a year in, uh, in Vancouver. And then I decided, um, before COVID, right before COVID that I was going to move to California and, uh, yeah, so now I'm back on a team because there's so much to learn here and uh, and learning through everyone's experiences helps a lot. Instead of trying to do it on my own, I get to learn, you know, we closed over 100 deals last year. I get to learn something about almost every deal. So yeah. it, it really accelerates your learning and cuz I'm I'm newer to California, there's a there's a lot of different there's a lot to learn for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and quite a few, you know, honestly, I I feel now that I've been, you know, uh, on the team and was for over 10 years before that on my own. Um, definitely. I see that I had basically had the cart before the horse. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing everything backwards. I probably <laughs> should have been, I wish they had been on the team from the very beginning. Yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, been able to take advantage of that. Absolutely. You, yeah. you get to learn from everyone on the yeah. team and, yeah. and then share those experiences or those, those wins or those losses with your client and and then they can be your wins or not your losses because you've <laughs> learned through everyone else on the yeah. team it doesn't necessarily yeah. if you're on your own you're getting a fraction of that you're doing a fraction of the yeah. deals so yeah. it's it's so beneficial to be on a team you know uh, well, that's a really good point because one of the things i found too is that in relation to that before it was like well i've learned this and i can do this and you know, when I'm talking to people, whereas now it's more of, we can do this. We've done that. We've seen this, you know, mm -hmm. we've experienced this yeah. and it just, it gives you self a lot more confidence. It gives your client a lot more confidence. Absolutely. You're yeah. drawing from so much experience and yeah, and yeah, yeah. so it definitely goes a long way yeah. when you do say we, and also being part of a team is, is really nice too. You get to bounce ideas off of people, see what worked for you, what didn't work for you. And then use that strategy instead of just being on your own and falling on your face and <laughs> trying to, you know, fix it or, you know, yeah. so there's, there's lots of benefits to being on a team. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, what would you just, if you were going to be talking, if you're talking to someone, cause I know we have people that are, are watching and listening that, um, are, have not gotten into the industry, but they're thinking about it mm. and they're contemplating that as a possibility. Um, any advice that you would give? <laughs> I had a client say that to me last week. She's like, oh, I've always wanted to be a realtor. And I was like, oh, you should follow me around for a week. I maybe will, maybe you won't at the end of the week. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to say. It's not as glamorous as everyone makes it out to be. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot of work. It's, uh, and it's also, you work seven days a week and I don't think people realize that, um, you could work two days a week, but you're probably not going to make much money. Like it is very, uh, yeah, you, know, you make you, your own schedule. Exactly. But, that, yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, so maybe that's the part that <laughs> seems attractive. But uh, if you're working two days a week in South Orange County, you're probably not going to make any money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or very little because yeah. it, it, it is a full time, you know, 40, 40 plus hours a yeah. week, seven days a week. I always say if you're working two days a week, you're wasting two days a week of you could be surfing or doing something else because yeah. you're going to make a living here. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if, if they are thinking of getting in the industry, I would say, honestly, find a good mentor and find someone to follow around for uh, several weeks. Cause it's a huge investment. Yeah. And, um, it, there's a lot of sides to it that people don't realize you're, you're the secretary, you're the marketer, you're the admin person. You're, yeah. you're all, you're all parts of the business. It's not, just one thing. So. What do you think are, are maybe the misconceptions of going on a team that people might have? Uh, that you don't have control over your own business or your, you know, your time. You, you still are very in control of your own uh, business. Um, I would say, I don't know. I don't know what the misconceptions would be. Really? Yeah. I, I don't know what people expect. I think every team is different. So it just, 
depends on your expectations, I would say. So ask a lot of questions. <laughs> ask as there many questions as you possibly yeah. can when you're joining the team. And, yeah. and what do you expect? And like, what do they expect? And then also in return, like, what are you willing to do on that yeah. team? So yeah. make sure that that lines up. It's yeah. really important. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Make sure you both have the same vision, the same yes. goals. Yes. And so does that, with that in mind, just thinking about that, do you think that as it's important that every single person has the same exact goals? No, I don't. I think everyone has different goals. Some people want to sell, you know, they they want to sell $100 million in real estate. Some people are, um, you know, only need to sell 50 or 25. Everyone's different according to their families and their lifestyle. And um, I'm not out to be the number one agent. I d I've never wanted to be the number one <laughs> agent, but some people do. Yeah. So I think everyone has, and that's the beauty of this business. You can be the first or you can be the last, depending on, you know, your goals and how hard you work and what you do. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's yeah, really so everyone's good. very yeah. different, I would say, in this industry. So you feel like the team does give some some room for that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Everyone, I think, is a, has a little different, you know, where, where they want to be and how their goals are. Yeah. Which, yeah. yeah. I want to still have a life. I want to have time <laughs> to go surfing or, um, yeah. you know, yeah. whatever the case may be, sailing, anything. Because you got to have a life. got to have balance. It's hard well, to have balance in it's this. It's really interesting that you're saying that because um, – just in our team, we've got so, so many different walks of life and just stat, uh, um, places in life that everybody's at. You know, I'm I'm in my late sixties, and you know, and you're in your you know young thirties. <laughs> I'll take it. Just trying, doing the math a little <laughs> bit. Um, you know, not not very good math, but it's close enough. So, um, but just the that everybody's you know some are single moms and some are you know uh, have families uh, multi, you know with a lot of kids i have grandkids you know so everybody's just different like that and i have been just really amazed at how well everybody just supports each other and encourages each other and and um and values each each person's uh, goals and their plans for their life and um you know, it doesn't make comparisons and stuff, you know, like, well, you're not like doing my, what I'm doing. And, mm -hmm. you, know, like, you know, it's, uh, yeah, we don't have any of that. Yeah, We're all awesome? very supportive. And, yeah. you know, if someone's busy or someone has kid stuff or someone's going to whatever the case may be, we all work together and cover it and make sure it's yeah. looked after. So that's the beauty of a team. That's the yeah. really nice part is you, you can go away or you can go do things and, and you have a team behind so, you that you can trust. Somebody's got your back. Yeah. 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 That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. That was probably one of the hardest things for me, being a solo agent. It is, yeah. yeah. Who do you trust with your business? Nobody. It's a very short list. <laughs> yeah, nobody. Is when you're right. solo. Yeah. Very short, very short. It's like, maybe that person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's it's tough to yeah. entrust that into yeah. someone. So. That's awesome. You know, I was just thinking, I didn't really, I really haven't articulated that in my mind, but I don't think, that, there's just nobody in our team that I would not completely trust my business too yeah that's, that's nice. pretty cool to be able to think that and say that absolutely yeah, yeah that's rare for yeah. sure for yeah. sure we have got a great team all right well that's cool well i'm going to turn the, the the corner here just a little bit as we wrap up but uh tell us about sarika something that uh, maybe we <laughs> nobody really knows <laughs> oh, so awkward when people ask you what um i would say I'm definitely outdoorsy. Uh, I love being outdoors. If I can go to the beach or go to the forest or um, just a walk in nature. Uh, and I love animals. So any kind of animal, my poor parents, I brought home every type of animal. We had like a half of a zoo growing up. Um, yeah, my, my dad lives on acreage. So, and he still to this day, like takes in strays. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. They have donkeys and cows, with the odd <laughs> pig. And so definitely animals have been a big part of my life. And, um, when I grew up, I wanted to be a marine biologist. Mm. So yeah, but not in real estate. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just, but I still go out whale watching whenever I can. Nice. We're so fortunate that yeah. we live right beside the ocean, and there's blue whales here, which I haven't seen yet, but I'm looking forward to. Yeah. I know yeah. they're hard to spot, but uh, nice. And yeah, I love you know decorating like homes. I did staging um, for for my listings for for five plus years, so I actually had a garage full of. 
uh, you know, stuff wow. full of, yeah, full of furniture and, and staging stuff. So I, I love that part. Anything to do with your home and making it look good, feel good, making it shine is one of my favorite things. All right. About real estate. I just might be reaching out to you a little oh. bit. Oh, so. <laughs> we'll go shopping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's very, that's just great. Well, um, well, thanks for um, your time and, and uh, thank you everyone for watching. And uh, let us know too, if you've got any questions or th any topics that you would like us to address. We'd love to um, help you out with anything related to real estate. Um, that's what we're here for. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you next time. Hey, thanks again for listening to the Real Estate Roundtable. If you'd like to connect with any of the sales partners here on the REIT team, our information is below and we'd love to chat with you.